When you think of the Philippines, you don't think of it as a country that's interesting and unique mosques. But today I'm going to show you the most unique mosque I've seen in all of my travels. The reason many people haven't heard of it is because it's a long, long journey to get there. And this area of the Philippines is considered dangerous on the internet. We'll be starting our day in Davao and taking a six hour bus halfway across the island of Mindanao to the city of Cotabato. And from there, meeting up with my friend Ali Akbar Omar, who will be taking us around the city and to the beautiful pink mosque of the Philippines. So welcome to Cotabato. Let's go check it out. So first stop out here in Cotabato, we're going to go get some food. We got in the public transportation vehicle. It's called Town Ace and it says Bismillah on it. So everything out here is Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. It's cool to see in the Philippines. I didn't know too much about this. And he said he's taking us to the best spot. Yeah. The most popular spot, all you can eat. Here we go. Rebecca Buffet. Ooh. Smells good in here. This is your favorite spot? This is the famous one. The famous one, okay. Yeah. If you want to, oh, what is this? Eat whatever you put in your plate. If you can't eat all, you must pay. For oh, they're gonna charge you. Now we're eating everything. Yeah. <laughs> we're eating all the Filipino food. Man, it's pretty awesome because in the Philippines, a lot of food is pork. And here, everything is 100% halal. Cotabato, they got the halal sign. Here we go, so we're gonna try all the dishes. I'm gonna show y'all what we got over here, what we're working with. We got grilled tuna, panga, we got kinilao. So this is kind of like pokey. Um, I'm gonna definitely try a lot of that. We got some seafood here. Seafood lumpai, I don't know what that is. Baked spaghetti. And then we got a corn soup, a bulalu soup. What is? Bulalu? Yeah, what is? Bulalo beef bones, okay. Oh. Which one you like more, corn soup or bulalo? The one, this, this one is bulalo, the, the bulalo is good. Then we got plain rice, fried rice, beef sanina, beef rendang, fish filet, buffalo wings. Dude, all of this for 300 pesos? Six dollars? And it's still going, fried chicken, beef steak, chop suey. Man, it goes on and on. This is the best part right here. Shrimp with chili garlic sauce. And they got desserts at the end. We're gonna get there later. We starting the meal with something slight. Got the bulalo soup. Let's try the bulalo. Mmm, tasty. So on the soup, they got something interesting. They got banana in here. I never thought I'd be eating banana and soup. We're gonna try it out with a piece of meat. Whoa. I'm liking that, the banana a lot. Yo, you gotta, do you like soup? You gotta try the soup. This is good. Banana and meats in a soup. Definitely my first time in my life trying this. Well, Filipinos, y'all got some good food. Round one, baby, round one, here we go. I'm getting like 20 plates. I'm eating so much. Dude, this place is so delicious. I haven't even been recording at all. I'm like three plates in. That boy is full. How you feeling? Yeah, full. So full. I feel a little dizzy with this food. I'm gonna try this. It's called bully now. It means little fish. Stacy. Bully now. Hey, I'm loving everything, honestly. Look, he's sweating over there. Are you sweating, bro? He's sweating. That's how good this food is. You just want to keep eating. We loving it. I'm gonna keep going. Our boss tapped out. Four plates. Four plates. What is this? Okay. I think this is like a Filipino dessert. Well, what is this called again? Dina Taal. Dina Taal. Okay. Mandarin Sindol. Tugalo, Dino to Al. We're gonna try a little of it. I don't really know what's in it, but we're gonna try some. Yeah, it's a combination of banana, uh, cassava, uh, cornstarch. So, banana, cassava, it looks like fruits, it's like colorful. Yes, it's a combination of fruits. Oh, a combination of fruits, okay. No, you know, for salad, but it's, it's warm, not cold to die. Let's try it out. This is really hot. Everything's like soft and melts in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. With coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. It's 
It's actually really delicious. Yeah. Sendol. Right, traditional Filipino foods, man. Great way to start our day in Cotabato, honestly. So we're gonna finish up with this and then go explore and check out some measures. But Rebecca Driveway, this is a go-to spot if you come to Cotabato, you gotta come see here. So now we're gonna go check out some measures around Cotabato. And first up, we're going to this mosque called the Pink Mosque. It's around an hour away from here, so we're gonna take some public transportation to get there. And this is the first vehicle we're going in. Let's get it. Assalamualaikum. Head to the pink masjid. What's the name? The, the real name, not pink masjid. I don't know the real name, but we call that pink masjid. Oh, you call it pink masjid too? Yeah. <laughs> well, today is a day of transport. It took six and a half hours to get here from the Val. Now we're going one hour to pink mosque, one hour back here. And then at night, six and a half hours back to the Val. So it was like 15 hours in a car just today. But it's worth it. This is a city I've been wanting to visit all year. So I'm glad I'm finally here. This is nice. <laughs> Everyone is Muslim here too, and they just say Salaam Alaikum. It's good vibes, bro. Super good vibes. Very peaceful, very friendly people. What's your name? My name is Samrun. Nice to meet you, bro. Kotobato nice State. Nice to meet you. Too. That's the school you go to? Mm -mm. Kotobato State University. Oh, yes. Nice. You go there too? Yes, bro. What do you study? In Kotobato State, State University. University. What's your major? Major. Um, uh, major in elementary education. Oh, yeah. nice. Future educator. Hey, that's what's up, bro. We got a whole bus. We're making friends with everyone. That's what you. That's what you think. If they see the bearded man, they call it Arab. <laughs> when they see bearded man here, they just call say. these ladies in the front. They, they call, oh, this is Arab. Oh, no, this guy's Arab. <laughs> They're bearded. <laughs> they away. <laughs> they're, they're making jokes. What they say? Yeah. If I, I'm, I'm like you with a uh, what's that? Uh, they call you Arab they, too? Yeah, they call me Arab. <laughs> <laughs> that, that big beard, they call me Arab. <laughs> so everyone with a beard like mine, they just so, think they're all about here. <laughs> but my nose is telling the truth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the nose. Yeah. It's the nose. Uh, Some guy came up to me, he's like, I like your nose. Oh, only nose. So. <laughs> only nose. <laughs> he's like, I like your nose. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, we just got here. It took around an hour, 20 minutes from Cotabato City, and it was 150 pesos, so three dollars, not bad. This is the way to get around. You just get, you just hop in one of these buses, the public transportation for Cotabato, and we're going to the Pink Measure now. It's raining, but we're gonna go. Let's head there. Everything here is like Muslim themed. We got the crescent, the moon. What's the name of this town? Uh, Dato Saudi Municipality. Hey, what's up, Salam? These, these umbrella vehicles are pretty cool. It's another big form of public transportation out here. The umbrella vehicles. What's the umbrella called? Oh. The umbrella. Umbrella? The Bayong Bayong. Bayong Bayong. Yeah. We're gonna ride one later. Hey, they got some street food out here. Hello, hello. And then there we go, the pink masjid. Wow, here we are. So this is the pink mosque. I've never seen a mosque in my life that's pink. It's actually really cool to see in person. Wow, beautiful, man. Ahlan wa sahlan, masjid dimakum. Wow, this is beautiful. Right here we have a surah of the Quran before entering. 
Mejid, Timokom, let's go inside. We enter through right here. The pink mosque. I've never seen anything like this before. It's a special, special place. Wow, mashallah, man. This is a beautiful facility right here. So they still use this mosque five prayers a day. And here it is, the main prayer area, the Mejid. Right here, they have a little main office. Over there, I believe, is the Wadu area. And they have a little place, has some shade right here. This is incredible. It's really awesome. Wow, the pink mosque of the Philippines. I've been wanting to come here. So the one thing about this mosque is it's kind of hard to reach. We had to go all the way to Davao and from Davao, we took a bus six hours to Cotabato and then from Cotabato took a one hour bus to here. So it was like a seven hour journey just to reach here. Everything here is pink. They even got a pink motorbike right here, right next to the Mejid. This is amazing. It's a huge, huge property too. Alaikum salam. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. What's your name? Rashid. Rashid. You live around here? Oh. You pray in this masjid? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mashallah. Yo, this is lit. We got all the kids here. What's your name? King. King? Oh. What's your name? Arib. Arib? Oh. Arib, King, Rashid. Yeah. King. Walid, King, Rashid. Arab. It's the whole squad out here. All right, nice to meet you, bro. I'm gonna go solle, go pray. Okay, my guy, my guy. But yeah, everything here is pink, man. Even the towels right here. It's a really cool place. Wish it wasn't raining. I want to get some aerial shots of it here. But Bismillah, let's go inside. Let's see. The Tamakom measured. It says this was constructed December 28, 2012, and opened on June 27, 2014, under the leadership of this mayor right here. There we go. Bismillah. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. So the lights are on, on but it's like an all pink interior. Here we got pink walls. This is unreal. I've never seen a measure like this. The roofs are pink. It's like a pink mansion, but a measure. Okay, so here's the second floor of the pink measure. As you can see, everything pink walls. This is a really beautiful measure, and it's a huge prayer area. Goes all the way down, all the way back. And then here, there's also an upstairs. Here you walk outside, see more of the exterior of the mosque. Everything is pink. Beautiful place. Wow. Got the chandelier right here in the middle. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, what a masjid. Everything, everything is has pink. Look, even the stairs, let's go upstairs right here. Got pink stairs. And go to the top of the second floor. Here's the downstairs. The main prayer area. The measured. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman Rahim, Malik Yomidin, Yakana Buluain, Yakana Istain. All right, we gotta head back to Cotabato City. It's all the homies. Walid. Walid Arbaz. They keep coming up to me, they're like long nose. Long nose. They're saying I have a long nose. You like my nose? Yeah. Long nose. Oh, that's funny. But. We're gonna say goodbye to here, head back to Cotoboto. Cotobato, I said it wrong. It's pink is beautiful. Hi. 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 <laughs> I got a whole squad following me around here. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Everywhere I'm going, they're all coming. Hello, hello. Hello. Everyone's so friendly, but we have to go back. We don't have too much time. Hello. How are you doing? 
good. <laughs> Dude, they're so nice here. People here, so nice, man. Look, got a little kid on a bike. Yeah! <laughs> man, I'm telling y'all, don't believe the news. They say Cotabato, super dangerous. Bro, these are the friendliest people I've ever met in my life. It's amazing here. It feels super safe. People are super nice. What's up? How you doing? Good? My bro. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone ask how am I? How am I? It's amazing vibes here. Hello. Hello. Salam alaikum. Arabic? Yes. Palestine. 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 This is good, but we have to go. I have bus one hour, Kotovat. Asalam, nice to meet you. Take care. Nice to meet you. Bro, the local out here. What a guy, man. If y'all come here to Kotobato, you'll have you'll have to have him show you around. He's the G. He's the G out here. The G. All right, we gotta find our ride back. I don't know how we're gonna do this. <laughs> we're just chilling right here, waiting for one of those vehicles. Back to Kotobato. I have a bus in an hour and a half to Davao. Let's see if we can make it. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're back. We're back. Going to Cotabato. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to fit. Yo, my guy is zooming, bro. He's going so fast. All right, I think we're going to make it in time. Man, I'm I'm actually sad. I want to stay in Cotabato like one whole week a month. Yeah. <sighs> we'll next trip. Inshallah, we'll be back. We'll be back for sure. I love it here, honestly. We made it back. Cotabato, we have like five minutes until the bus leaves, so we got to run over there. We got to run. <laughs> we sprinted through the streets of Potabato. Oh, oh, oh. Everyone is just staring at us. Let's see if we can make it. Hey, hey, hey. So we got here and tough news. It already left. So we're taking motorcycles trying to track down the bus. To get back to the bell, it's the last bus of the day. It leaves at 6.30, but I don't know why it's already gone. Oh my god, this is crazy. We're trying to go track the bus down. What is going on? What is going on? Dude, we have to get this bus. We don't get it, we're stuck here. And our plans are kind of ruined. We need to get back to the Val tonight. Yo, this is an adventure, man. We got our bus right there. Real Filipino adventure. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. I don't even know where these guys are driving. We're trying to find the bus. Come on, some like back roads. What are the odds we find this bus? Let's see. Let's see. Crossing the bridge, about to go on the highway. No way. No way. No way, our bus. No way, the valve. Bro, you're the best, bro. Bro. bro, you're the real one. Thank you, my bro. We're gonna link up, okay? okay, okay, okay. You're the best. Okay, okay. I'll message you. We made it. We made it, baby. Hello. Hello, brother. How are you? Good, good. Yo, how did we just... <laughs> Welcome to Mindanao Star. Dude, if only they knew <laughs> what just happened to get on here. Yeah, we here. Philippines. Philippines. I'm gonna knock out. Welcome to the Philippines. Man. So we got a six hour journey back to the valve. Hello. Hey. What a day, man. What a day. What a day. I'm coming back to the city a thousand percent. I got to do a round two Philippine trip. I want to do Mindanao for way longer. I need to, it's a must. So we're going back to the Val. It's like 15 hours on a bus today for a day trip. But thank y'all so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And definitely, if you get a chance to visit Philippines, try to visit Mindanao. It's not like what the media says it is, man. People are so friendly, so nice. It's a vibe out here, I'm telling y'all. So peace, let's go back to the valve.